What'd you make of that one? Two fantastic teams, two fantastic set of players, fantastic stadium. Uh, I think it was good spectacle for everyone to to watch. Fr from our point of view, uh, I don't think that we played as well as uh, we can, uh, and probably as well as we played the last uh, few games. You know, may maybe just having a week off. Uh, you know, they they were maybe a little bit more match fit, more match game ready than us. But I, I thought at the beginning we controlled the game very well, maybe first 20 minutes. Um, we got a great, fantastic goal. Um, and then uh, I think towards the end of first half, we started with too many long balls and uh, they got back into the game. Uh, second half was arm wrestle and, you know, a bit, bit disappointed with uh, our player stepping in for that first penalty when, when Tom saved it. Um, and make maybe something that you know we need to talk about and maybe try to improve on that. But other than that, happy, you know, one one, and uh, 90 more minutes or 120 minutes in in Melbourne. You mentioned the first penalty, but the second one, the I mean, encroaching happens, right? Do you call it back? Do you think that's the right thing to do to call it back? I think they call it back because he kicked the ball out of the penalty penalty area. If he didn't touch the ball, then it wouldn't be so important. But uh, because he got involved in that second phase, I think that's why they called it. I think it's a, it's a correct call. But, you know, if you are in that situation, you need to block the opponents and then you need to time your run when you're going to get in. Because if they get a step in front of you before the ball is kicked, uh, then it, it will be, it will, the decision will go our way. Tom had a fantastic game. Um, without him, it probably would have been a little bit uglier for you guys, particularly that, that save at the end of the first half was, was fantastic. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought they had probably clearer chances. But saying that, you know, they, they decided to defend deep. Um, you know, I think we were, fr from from a defensive point of view, we were braver. We, we defended much higher. We pressed them. We forced the issues. We, we don't want to really sit back and defend deep. Um, I think they are a little bit different team, and uh, you know, once you get good players defending so deep, and uh, you know Wilkinson and uh, Rodwell, you know they can deal with a lot of chances that we try to create. We, they can clear it, and, and they were excellent today. Do you feel like you, you missed Aiden O'Neill a little bit in midfield, and, and do you think he'll be right for next week? Uh, we absolutely missed him. I think I think he was uh, one of the key players the whole season. You know, he breaks breaks down the opponent's attacks. He he wins a lot of balls. Um, I was told that he's going to be okay. You know, he's got uh, uh, spasm in his back, so that uh, you know we, he could not travel. It would be too risky to travel. So we we left him in Melbourne. And fingers crossed, he's going to be okay to play on Friday. Are you always going to play Florin in his place because you, you lose, obviously, his ability further forward? Uh, look, I, I thought uh, Valon was excellent. Uh, he, he was a carrying injury and we, we, he didn't play in the last few games. But, um, you know, he was excellent. And, and maybe that was a reason why we did not control the game because our, a lot of our players just came back from injuries. Uh, Lecky, he only played uh, two times 30 minutes. Uh, Marlon hasn't played for a few weeks. Uh, we missed Aiden. Flo was the only one who played regular football, you know. So we we missed a little bit of spark in that midfield. Uh, that hopefully we can get back on uh, on Friday. It seemed like Le Lecky was dropping very deep towards the end as well. Was that just simply because you were sort of just trying to avoid losing the game right at the end? No, he played in the midfield. Mm. So that's why uh, if he if his player goes forward, he has to follow him. Uh, but you know, it's. Uh, I think you know, from defensive point of view, we've done really well. Uh, apart from those couple of chances that they they created, uh, I think uh, you know we we pressed re very well in in wide area. We we forced them to play a lot of long balls, and we had uh, uh, several turnovers. Uh, just unfortunately, we did not have the right passes at the end of it uh, to maybe get. Uh, you know, exploit their back line a little bit more. It's been a while, I think, since Sydney have beaten you guys at home. Um, 
you go back home another week for the players who've come back from injury to adjust. Are you confident that, that you can get this done? Oh, of course. Of course we are confident. You know, we, we are premiers and uh, we only lost three games the whole season. We have uh, the most goals scored, least goals conceded. Um, and yes, of course, we are confident that we can do the job. Um, just earlier you mentioned uh, about having the week off and maybe they had a little bit more match fitness than um, you guys. Just curious to know if you like this format for the, for the final series at the moment because the top couple of teams, there's no double chance and, and the week off can be a good thing and a bad thing, not necessarily an advantage sometimes. Yeah, well, it, it's not just uh, having a week off in the round one. You have a week off before the grand finals, you know. So, you know, in the five weeks, you only play three games. And for us, you know, if we're in grand final, we play two away. So there's really no advantage. So uh, I would, honestly, I would like them to reconsider uh, at least the format if they can't change where the grand final would be played so that there is some uh, benefit for the, the top two teams. You're talking about next week as well, Rado. I imagine that you you think Sydney will come and set up in the same way next week. How do you kind of plan to break them down a bit more? Uh, look, <clears throat> there's not a great deal of uh, tactical adjustments in the A League, you know. Like, and even now, what, what can they do? They they got uh, seven days to prepare. Tomorrow is going to be recovery. They may give them another another day off, uh, and then you got three training sessions to change. So you can't really change a lot. Uh, so basically what you've got is what you've got, and that's probably what's going to happen on Friday. Uh, what may change is that one of the players have got an outstanding game and, you know, he is the difference either for, for us or for them. Um, and, uh, you know, like Tilio was when we played him in, 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 in Melbourne, you know, fantastic run and shot scored a goal. You know, so, so th those are the only things that could maybe change the game, but I think it's going to be similar how it was today. You know, I don't, I don't see any, anything different.